Slam. Hi. Hope you will be fine. Today our topic is how to create a shipment on Amazon. Sign in and click on the Manage Inventory tab. Then click on the arrow of Edit Inventory. Then click on Send Replenish Inventory. For the further process, you need to submit a shipping address. And select individual units because I am going to send individual units in one box. Then click on Prep and Labeling Details Needed. Then choose the Prep category. Scroll down and select No Prep Needed because we don't have breakable things for prep. Then click to save. Then if you print a label by yourself then select by seller. Then save. Then put the quantity of the unit which you are going to send in my case I am going to send 10 units in one box so I put 10. Then click on ready to pack. And after this, you can also print SKU labels means the units that you are going to send. Then click on pack individual units and tick everything will fit into one box because my all units are in one box then confirm. Then you need to put the dimensions of your carton slash box. The sequence is length asterisk width asterisk height then put box weight in kg. Then click on confirm information. Note if your box is more than 15 kilograms you need to mention it on the box for better logistic handling in the Amazon warehouse. Then click on confirm and continue. Then you need to select the ship date. And if you have a small parcel then select small parcel delivery and if more than one then select less than truck. Then select Amazon Partner Carrier. Then select any one of the carrier company. I am going to select another because I am going to find the best cargo rate. Then click Accept Charges and confirm the shipping. Then you can print the label of the box and then save the PDF on your computer. Then click on Proceed the order tracking details. Now your shipment is created. You need to put a tracking number of the shipment when your shipment is dispatched by the courier service provider they will give you the tracking number of your shipments. Then go to the inventory tab click the arrow near to edit then click on print item labels. Then put the units you have in the box. Then click on item labels and save the PDF on your computer. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. For more informative videos and content and for any questions you can ask in the comment.